<clears throat> you know, I am so glad that uh, Reza's taped confession is doing so well. Kind of popular, you know, know what I'm saying? I mean, three, you know, thumbs up, more than 50 views. I mean, it might be hitting 60 soon, you know what I'm saying? And again, she doesn't listen. You know, she she's there like around, let me see what time it is, about like maybe, I'm guessing like maybe 8.15, something like that. Told her to get her rear, fat rear, and by the way, here by 8 o'clock with the baby. But it gives me more ample time. See, y'all don't understand. You know, I'm calling the shots under God, you know. I'm calling the shots. Don't, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Right? Fernando, if you're out there, Jeanette, or anybody else, I can take care of myself. You know, God gave me a lot of talent and a lot of vigor, a lot of power, and just a lot of authority. You see what I'm saying? So I just, just, I just smoke her out, you know. Look at that. Reese's taped confession. This is the commentary part two, by the way. And then, you know, karaoke, <laughs> notwithstanding, in the background. And my baby is asleep, you know, Anna Devane. And uh, that's just the deal. She might come. She might put a you know, big rear end, which is big as, bigger than mine. You know, I measured it. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, just, you know. I'm just saying. I mean, I measured it as, as twice as big as mine. I mean, just goodness gracious. I mean, really, she wasn't like that before I came. She was a pencil. She was a pencil neck geek. You know those pencil neck geeks, you know, cartoons and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Had the little tiny necks like pencils. She was like that. Her legs were like pencils. Her legs and arms were like pencils. I'm just saying. Floppy. Blue my, what do you call it? Yeah. Also, I, I spoke to her sister today, though. Rochi, she came from the Middle East. I mean, she might as well have been coming from Baghdad, you understand what I'm saying? And I spoke to her, and I told her that she cheated on me. That's why, I'm, you know, I'm leaving your sister, I'm saying, I'm leaving your sister, you know, uh, we're getting a separation. And she said, yes, I'm getting a separation because uh, your your sister cheated on me. But my sister loves you. I said, what? She loves you. I said, what? 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 The, who? Come on, man. You don't cheat on somebody you love. Come on. It's impossible. That's impossible. I never cheated on my wife in five years. It's going to be five years this December by the fall. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take me a little time for the, for the separation to kick in. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, it's going to take some time and money. It's like the George Harrison song. It's going to take money, a whole lot of spending money. It's going to take patience and money to do it right, y'all. For now, don't be out there. You know that song. Don't worry about me, Nandi. You know, I'm, I'm you know, yeah. Man, I, I, got, I owe my brother an apology. My goodness gracious. I owe my brother a big fat, no pun intended, apology. Fernando, if you're out there, I am sorry. I am deeply so, as a matter of fact, oh man. What will me and Brian ever learn? You know what I mean? I mean, when will me and Brian ever learn to, to listen to that man? Even though Fernando should have listened to this. I mean, me and uh, Mom told him about, you know, marrying Gwen in the first place. And I'm, just, I'm not saying that Gwen is bad, but I'm just saying it doesn't mix. It hasn't mixed for 30 years. But that's another topic altogether. But, um, the tapes. <laughs> the tape. This is delicious. It was like, you know, the Joker all over again. Batman and Robin in 1960, you know, show and whatnot, man. I mean, I got an actual taped confession. I could put her in jail. I don't know if I could, that's enough to put her in jail because I don't. I don't have any evidence of ha her having sex with somebody. You know, I mean, that's different. That's that's cold, hard adultery. I mean, you know, adultery is a sin over here in the Philippines. You know, but so you need some co core hard. That you know, you need some. You need some panties. You need something. I mean, you know, you need to. I mean, you need some drawers. You need. <laughs> you need. You need a lot of evidence to put her rear, rear end, fat rear end, by the way, in jail. You know what I mean? Not that I don't like fat people. I mean, you know, 
the more you, the merrier, you know, the better. But I'm just saying, you know, she is kind of fat. More fatter than, you know, she was when, when I came here. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to put fat people down. So, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not that skinny myself. I'm 200 pounds, I think. I think. Anyway, I'm losing weight, though, man. Because she, she hasn't been cooking dinner for me at all. Now, I didn't buy my corned beef, though. That's the problem. So I got I to gotta get that next month, man. You know, I got to get my corned beef, you know, 15 cans and stuff like that and soups. And then I got I to gotta look after myself. I mean, you know, I'm looking after my babies and stuff like that. But I also have to look out for myself. So, I mean, you know, it's nice to look after my babies, get the milk and pampers and wipes and, and medicine and off lotion. Yeah, fine. But I need to eat. I need to eat. You know, the only thing I got in the house is rice. It's like Jim Jones all over again. So, so stuff like, you know what I'm saying? Goodness gracious. But anyway, um, so I'm about to lose weight. To this, <laughs> this puff, I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, man. But it will soon be over. You know, I mean, you know, next year it's coming around. It's around the corner. Yeah. It's around the corner next year. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's not, it's not, um, it's not, it's not, you know, I mean, you know, we're, we're almost, at, you know, not almost in September, but I mean, this is August. You know what I mean? So it's, it's August already, and it's going to be September, so then September, you see, I don't count this month, though, but you have all of this month, we got September, October, November, December, January, February, and that's when the big decision kicks in. I can actually, you know what I'm saying, get the get the get the loan that Atian said that I c can get in February. It's not gonna be. Excuse me, guys, got tired. It's not gonna be as high as I want it to be, but it's enough for the separation, though. More than enough. Well, well, more than enough, though. You know, this it's enough. Or I can wait to. Um, I see. I can wait to July, cause of, you know, or like, you know, or, or or June. I can wait to June third. Um, that's where the the I think the um, this loan finishes in June. Uh, I think I could get more money, even more than the, you know the Atian's gonna give me was um, um, can't give me on um, February. So um, I think. The best thing is just to really gut it out for almost another year. Basically, that's what it is, though, man. You're talking about 10 more months of just gut-wrenching, looking at this pitiful face, you know. I mean, we don't talk. We don't communicate at all. We don't communicate. And we sure ain't going to have no sex this month. I'll tell you that right now. That, that, <laughs> sometimes when we're okay, we only have, we, we only make, I'm a married man, by the way. Only make love one time a week. Not one time a week. One time. I wish it was like that. One time a month. And uh, if you have problem with your wives, you know you know exactly what I'm going through. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm taking a old bit right now. <laughs> Situation with Nelsie, probably how bad it was. You know. So, um, but you know she's gonna trick another person in um, her web. Um, she's going to um, getting to reason now. She's probably going to get somebody, sucker somebody else online, going to take off his shoes, going to wash his feet, and all this bull garbage, you know, for a couple of months. And then she's going to do whatever the hell she wants to do. And then, like, if she's going to wrong, if she's going to run into the wrong person. I feel very sorry if she does. I mean, I mean, I, I really feel sorry for her in that sense because I've seen it, though, man. You can't do that with all, all the guys in the world. I mean, not everybody is not me. Not everybody's like Angelo, you know. It's a dangerous game that she's playing, you know, and then she's gonna run into the she's gonna run into the wrong person that's not gonna care about nothing, you know. And it's just, it's just sad though, you know. And I I I seen it, I seen it in my life, you know. A friend, you know, um, go, went through that and it's no longer here, you know. So me and my mother saw that, you know, in in our building, actually on the fourth floor. I used to live on the third floor, and that happened on the fourth floor. You know, so um, it's a very, I mean, you know, uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just pitiful. It's very pitiful. It's just very, it's very bad. Her problem, you know, I mean, you know, um, 
I tried the best I can to keep this relationship, you know, going and stuff like that. And I guess it was just really for the kids, you know, especially for Anna, because, you know, if Anna wasn't born, um, I would have probably left, you know, a long time ago. I think she's coming. Let me see. By the, by the way, I gave that karaoke singer some pointers, you know what I'm saying? I said, not everybody, not, nobody has a bad voice. You just, yeah, it's a practice. <sighs> I'm tired, though, man. Shot today, though, man. I don't know if I'm sick. I have, to, like, the flu or something. I have to get that bio flu or whatever, you know? <laughs> That's what I got to do. But, uh, you know, I'm glad I got the, the tape confession out there so people could actually, you know, believe me. So, because people, they see, and I was telling Mercy this today, People is, see reason like this little tiny girl with a little baby or this little child walking around on Pedro like she used to do, you know, bulletproof. Everybody believes in her. She's a sweet little Riza and stuff like that. She's not a sweet little Riza child anymore. She's a person that had kids from two different guys. She was a prostitute. Everybody knows that. Adeline knows that. Obed knows that probably already. I know it. And Risa knows it. I mean, you know, so everybody knows that. Everybody knows that this woman was a prostitute, man. You can tell when you're making love with her, you can tell. She knows what she's doing, you know. And, you know. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. You know, uh, when, you, when, you, when you make love to the woman, it's like she's a professional. I'm just saying, it's just like she's a professional. She knows what she's doing. So she's been around the ropes, you know what I'm saying? She's been around the town, you know. She's a professional love maker. I mean, she's a machine. I'm just saying, she's a machine. I know, I, I, I used to sleep with a woman. And um, she is a machine. She is a freaking machine. And um, she's a professional love maker. I mean, she, I don't know how she got, it's by experience. Do you make love the way she does, you know? Moving her body the way she does and all those make these little tiny moves. I can't even make those moves. <laughs> I used to say, honey, how do you make all the moves? I'm not talking about now. We don't just we haven't made love in, since last month. And we're not gonna make love until I get the hell out of here. I'm gonna see to that myself. You know what it is having a spouse, and then you say, honey, come on, let's make some love, you know. Oh, no, I'm tired. Oh, my period. Oh, you know. No, man, tomorrow. Come on, get the hell out of my life, man. Get the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow. So I'll give you tomorrow. I'll give you the, I'll, I'll give the world of tomorrow. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. When you get a big, fast, fast separation, and, you're, and your ma name is like mud, you know. Separation. I'm willing to pay 150,000 pesos to get out of the life of this, 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 this disgusting woman, man. You know what it is? <clears throat> to spend the majority of your loan on a, on, a, on a separation, you know it's bad. And you know she's bad. It's not only the circumstances that's bad, she's bad. She's a bad woman. I don't care how many bar nuts she buys me and peanuts and all this crack and jack. Bull garbage, man. I don't care about that. I didn't come to the Philippines to somebody to give me peanuts and to give me bar nuts. <laughs> no, because she says, you know, she says, you know, when 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 I criticize her, oh, but I'm a good wife. I give you, I give you happy money. <laughs> come on, man. I want a woman to get me pork steak. How about that? And even though she gave me pork steak the other day, they didn't come from her pocket. It came from uh, Ruchi. Uh, you know, she came from the Middle East and bought pork steak. For you know, for the family, so she gave me some of that. It wouldn't even come from her. Yeah, I want, I want, I want a woman to give me pork steak or a real steak or a real dinner. You know what I mean? How about that? A little happy bunny and then, you know, little bar nuts and the, the, yeah, it's, it's fun to eat those, and it comes from my pocket, the money you know, to get these things. You know. So, I mean, you know, that's just the deal. I mean, you know, don't, nobody asked me, please, in the office if she's with me. She's not going to be with me. It's a waste of time. Don't ask me that question. Oh, is, is, is Risa with you? Hell no. She ain't going to be with me. I told you, until I leave this place. She's not going to be with me next month. She's not going to be with me, you know, the month following. She's not. I'm telling you, she's not. 
So don't even ask. You know, just 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 get somebody for me. You know, uh, so I can you know talk to. You know, basically that's about it. You know, that could be a friend too. You know, she could be my friend. That's it. You know, and uh, you know. The seriousness and stuff like that. No, I'm not gonna until I get my separation. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, no kissing and hugging and that. I don't. I'm a Christian person. I don't believe in that. You know, I could talk to somebody. You know, like you know, how you doing? Like just to get a head start. You know, it's, it's a little change of heart. You know, try to get contact. Try to contact over and tell them. You know that I had a change of, of heart, and you know what I mean, and, and, and to to apologize to Obed and say, listen, you know something, I know what he was doing, you know, he was getting a head start. Nelsie was not there anymore. She cheated on you. She she didn't give you anything, and and maybe you just want somebody to talk to and stuff like that. I mean, she the, the the marriage is dead anyway. I mean, you know, Riza Riza committed adultery behind my back, so this marriage is dead. And not only that, God God pulled my ring. Out of my my ring finger at the beach, and I said, "Why is this happening? That my finger, the ring, just comes off. It just came off. Um, you know, ever so slightly, but at the same time, so powerfully that I couldn't grab it on time. You know, so when I was doing a backflip, um, it just it was like slow motion. It's just like a visible hands." Just took the ring and slipped it right out of my finger and never to be found anymore. I think the little fishies are playing with it or something. Maybe it fell into a clam, to an oyster or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that was that was that was. Um, and and then and then when the when the beach bed dried up, me, uh, my father-in-law, and my brother brother-in-law, uh, Noel, I uh, was trying to find it. You know, because it was dry, so there was no more water at that spot. And we went from here to there. We still couldn't find it. But what was the excuse of Riza not using the ring that I gave her? And she said, oh, well, I'm too fat. It doesn't fit anymore. So why not wear it around your neck? See? Why not wear it around your neck? If you love me so much, why not wear the ring that, that I bought you around your neck with a string or something like that? Or I could, I could have bought you a chain and you could have wore it like that. How about that? Incidentally, I took away the, uh, the earrings that uh, my mother left in her apartment. Uh, my mother had a gift of prophecy. She can tell it. She can look into the future by the gift of the Holy Spirit, and look back into time, and and see what went on. And even in the present, she could tell what was going on. And so I wanted that gift to rub out on Riza, so she could get that gift in a sense, you know, in a secondary sense, you know, just like uh, Elijah left his uh, his his like some piece of clothing. When he was going up to heaven, and then uh, Elijah, uh, his mantle uh, grabbed it, and you know, like that, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted that to rub off on Riza, so I just collected it today. And I said, In Jesus' name, you're never going to wear this ever again. I'm not going to give it to you. Because that's going to be for a special woman, man. Or that's going to be for a daughter that I have. Probably not for Anna, uh, but that's going to be uh, for a daughter that I'm going to have in the future. Or, uh, and I'm only going to give it to a woman that I know that I'm married with for several years and uh, that everything is, is right, you know. You know, so that can be passed along from generation to generation, from daughter to daughter and all that stuff, you know. Like that, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. So I took that I took that away, you know, from her. And it's, it's very, very big slap in the face spiritually because um, those earrings were from my mother, you know, like I said before. And I found them in her uh, apartment after she died, you know. So um, she didn't have a lot of jewelry. It looks like she gave it away knowing that she was going to die, but, you know, that's one of the things that I took uh, today. You know. Wait, and, 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 be stupid. and today, you know, I this? told her to go out and, you know, get the medicine for Anna Devine, my daughter, and also her food. She has also, I, I criticized her recently uh, in not making the food that I gave her money to buy for Anna. So she didn't eat food. You know, she has to eat food. 
Milk, she's not a baby. Even though she acts like a baby, she's not a baby physically. She, she's going to be four years old. So she needs food. And she had she didn't make food before today, like about two or three days. Actually, physical food. And, you know, the, those are the, the things that she's really good in, in feeding the kids and stuff like that. You know, I pay for it, but still, sometimes she pays for it also and, and the family, you know, like that, you know. <clears throat> you know. Um, but she really bombed out, um, you know, um, also leaving in the middle of the morning, uh, not telling me where she was going around six o'clock. Her father uh, spoke to her outside and then it may, it maybe, who knows, maybe it wasn't the father. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Maybe I heard his voice, but maybe it was somebody else. Maybe it was another, another man. And so she left for about an hour and then, um, you know, and then, um, and then she went, uh, she, she, she stayed, she stayed there for about an hour, and then I confronted her, and I told her that's irresponsible what you did, leaving me with Sean, and I had to feed him, and I had to change him, and I had to take care of two kids and stuff like that, well, your, your, your rear end is over there at your mother's house, you know, so, I mean, you know, hey, that's, that's okay, but it's, it's, you know, the, the relationship is dead anyway, and the marriage is doomed. So there's not going to be no more kissing and hugging and making up. Not this time. Not this time. Because I'm telling everybody that I'm separating. I never did that before. When I'm doing what I did today, I mean, I must have told, like, I don't know, like maybe five or six people. I don't know, really, to tell you the truth. I told her sister. I told Mercy. I told, I reaffirmed it with uh, uh, Ninet. And then I told one of the daughters, uh... No, no, I didn't tell one of the daughters of uh, Tita Grace, but but I told enough people today, you know, so I'm spreading the good news of the separation now, you know, so that's just the deal. Let's see. You know, I'm recording on this, digital. This, not... this, this phone is being held together by spit and glue, I'll tell you that, you know. And you know something, I'm not going to be um, going over there um to pick up sean in the night like hey it's time to go because she might be recording it and then you know you know that doesn't really look good you know on film you know it looks like somebody who's like uh harassing or something like that so i'm not gonna even be doing that i don't care i don't care if she comes at 11 o'clock i don't give a damn you know i don't care you know right now it's uh Right now it is. Let me see what time is it now. I told her to come like around eight o'clock with, with with the baby. You see, I told I told them, this clock. I gotta get another clock. I don't know what the heck is wrong. It's eight twenty-seven. I told her to get her fat rear end over here at eight o'clock with the baby. I told her that. You know, but you know, Anna's sleeping, so. Um, you know, Anna's sleeping, so I don't really care, you know, too much now, you know. Anna's sleeping, you understand what I'm saying? So I don't really care, like, if they come at 12 o'clock or if they come at all. I don't care if they come. I don't care if she stays there, <laughs> to tell you the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. So it's over between us, you know, and how many times I got to say it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can think that we're going to kiss and make up. The hell with that, though, man. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't happen this time. So, I mean, it's over. And, you know, Atian said that she could help out with the lawyer. Good. And uh, she's going to help out with the with the loan. Good. To, to pay for the lawyer. And maybe she could help out get, to get somebody uh, new for me after all is said and done. Good. So, um, you know, um, Everything is going to work out. Everything is going to work out, man. I'm going to get a woman who's a, who's a decent human being. You know, let's just put it like that, you know. Not somebody that's just worried about, you know, paying her bills all the time. You know, that's not... That's 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 ex existing. That's not living. That's existing. That's not living. Living is living. Living for God. Living for His Word. Like that, you know. Living to share it. That's living living in the grace of, of, of life. But existing is just like what a dog does, you know, just eating and drinking and and just thinking about those things, you know, animal instincts and animal, 
you know, desires and stuff like that, you know. So, uh, that's just the deal. So, uh, I got over a thousand videos over here. Um, a thousand videos. Twelve subscriptions, very low. The first channel that I have has over, uh, has over, uh, 2,940 subscriptions, I think. So it's very close to um, 3,000 subscriptions. The first one, which is Angelo Kiki Quinones. Angelo KYK Quinones. This, this one is Angelo Kiki Huchi uh, Quinones 3. And there's another one I got that's Angelo Huchi Quinones, and that's it. So that one has very low subscriptions, also 13. So, but, you know. This 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 is gonna survive me. This channel is gonna be here. Uh, hopefully, if I don't do anything wrong, you know, um, after the day I die, you know, it's gonna be here for you know, if the Lord tarry hundreds of years, you know. So it's a birthday party going on, you know. It's always a birthday party, man. That's what Lisa knows how to do. She knows how to you know go to these birthday parties and get her food and and stuff like that, you know. That's all, that's all she knows how to do. If you ask her what's Genesis chapter one verse one or John three sixteen, she doesn't she she wouldn't know it if it fell on her. You know. You know she wouldn't know she wouldn't know the Bible if it fell on her. though, really. I'm serious. And that's why she is the way she is. She don't know the Bible. You know. And somebody may say, well, I'm looking at this Angelo, and you're kind of condemning me. I don't know about the Bible either. Well, you know, hopefully. You know, what's going on between me and Reza could be an encouragement to you to change. To change with your husband, to to treat him better if you're not treating him good. Or if he's treating you the same way that Reza treated me and cheating on me and, and your husband is cheating on you, to do something about it, to confront him. Not to be so scared and stuff like that, you know? And, uh, you know? You know, it's just like when Jesus was speaking... A parable and then uh, the Pharisees said uh, master I think you are, you know are you convicting us also <laughs> yeah, yeah I think so that's what it's meant to do this is this example of a dual marriage man is an example for me first of all it's not to repeat the same mistake and if you're in a marriage like that that you're not getting any love out of it you're not getting you don't trust the man or the woman and you're not getting any love. You're not getting any communications. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're just going to stay there? Hey, that's your choice. You can make that choice. I choose the opposite. I choose to leave. So, I mean, you know. Because I want children. You know, I want I want further children. And like I said before, if I fall in love with a person that can't give me children. Because she's older or she just can't have. Well, hey, that's, that's okay. As long as I'm madly in love with her, I won't mind. I have two kids already. I have Anna and a half Sean. So I already have, you know, two kids. It's not like I don't have any kids, you know. Like before I came to, to, to the Philippines, I didn't have any kids. So I wanted kids. Well, now I have kids. So it's not a 100% guarantee that I'm going to choose somebody that can that, 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 that can have kids. I might choose somebody that, that, that can have kids because I'm so in love with her. and She's so in love with me that we, we just won't mind, you know. Well, so, you know. That's it. You know? But it has to be somebody special. You know? It has to be somebody special, you know? It has to be somebody very, very special for that to happen. Because I want, I want more kids. You know, so. Who's that? Me. All right.